And the title of the message this afternoon is Toil No More. We're not going to toil any longer. Hallelujah. And I believe that today the Lord is going to minister to every one of us concerning this particular area uh, that we're not to be toiling, uh, but we are to be resting in the Lord, in the Lord. You know, when we toil, that is in the carnal realm. And when we rest in the Lord, that's in the spiritual realm. And so we are to walk by the spirit and, and not by sight. We are to uh, give all of our cares and our worries. We're to give them over to the Lord. You know, there's a, I don't know if any of you have seen the, the little movie, The Lion King. But, it you know, it goes, Akuma Matata. No worries for the rest of our days. No more worries. Hallelujah. And so uh, we want to be able to rest in the Lord. I'm going to start in Psalms 23. And this we know very, very well. And I think that this is something that we need to uh, uh, not only uh, remember every day, but sometimes we need to read it to ourselves. And it's Psalms 23. And I'm just going to do the first three verses. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. Ooh, hallelujah. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Look at all the things that God does for us. You know, he is the one who looks after us. He is the one that leads us and guides us. And he is the one that brings us by the still waters. Now, that's the river of God. We are to drink from the river of God every single day. Hallelujah. We are to drink of him. You know, it says all who are hungry and thirsty for him shall be filled. And that's what we pray over each one of you. As Brother Fred and I pray for the, the Zoom meetings that we have, we pray for all of you, and including ourselves, that we will have an increase in our hunger and our thirst for the Lord, for the Word of God. Hallelujah. You know, it says in Luke 12, 27, and I'm, I'm just giving you... Um, some verses to think about as we talk about not toiling anymore. Luke 12, 27. Consider the lilies, how they grow. They do not toil or spin. Yet I say to you, even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Consider the lilies. And so I, I, I say to you today, are you considering the lilies? That they don't have to toil, they don't have to spin, and God takes care of them. And it says in Colossians 2.23 that whatever we do, we're to do it with our whole heart, not as, as, as unto, not to men, not for mankind, but to the Lord. We're to do it as unto the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs 16, 3. <clears throat> commit your ways unto the Lord. Uh, commit your works unto the Lord. And your thoughts will be established. When you commit everything to him, then he helps you think like you should be thinking. And then Romans 12, 11. Not lacking in diligence you're fervent in spirit serving the lord you know brother fred and i have have been coming to to honduras for over 30 years and and i will i will say that you are fervent when you are worshiping the lord and when you're praising the lord 
and we we appreciate that and we receive from that that you are fervent when you are worshiping the Lord and that passion and that that fire is there and and today before we end this I'm, I'm going to be praying over you and we're going to believe with you and you can believe with us that we will give everything that we're doing to the Lord you know if we if we're out there on the streets ministering on the streets we want to do it with with fervency we want to do it with with everything that's within us and and we want to to do it by the spirit of god in philippians 4 13 i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and so when you're when you're toiling in the flesh you get very weary remember the scripture that says uh do not grow weary in well-doing for if you faint not you will receive a uh, reward and and so why do people get weary why do they stop doing what what they're supposed to be doing it's because they are trying to do it in their own strength instead of doing it in god's holy spirit hallelujah he's the one that gives us the strength to do everything now let's talk about i'm going to break this up over here uh, people who are toiling and then over on the other side the spiritual side how do we rest in the lord how do we truly rest in the lord and some of you this has been this is a on-time message uh for you because there's been some things that have made you um uh, nervous uh and anxious and we want to get rid of all of that today we don't want to toil but we want to rest in the lord so let's go to um luke chapter 10 verse 40 a very familiar passage but let me give you a definition of what it means to toil it means to struggle it means to be self-indulgence it means to be carnally thinking about what you're doing and and that can be that can be the work of the lord as well as the things that you need to do for your family or the things that you need to do in your community um it's it's to toil means to do it in your own abilities and each one of us have have talents and abilities but but god wants us to use his strength and his abilities uh to do his work luke 10 40 this is about mary and martha which is a perfect example of toiling and resting right here in this very same uh passage Luke 10 40 but Martha was distracted with much serving <clears throat> and she approached the Lord and said Lord do you not care that my sis my sister has left me to serve alone therefore tell her to help me that's what Martha was saying Martha got irritated Martha got frustrated because she was having to do everything herself i've been there i don't know if you've been there but i've been there you know lord tell this person to help me i need i need to to get this done and i need some help to do it okay but what did jesus say he said this to martha 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 you are encumbered by many things mm, 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 mm. see that that will uh, cause you to toil when you're encumbered with many things and then he said but mary 
has chosen the good thing. Now, what was Mary doing? Mary was listening to Jesus. Mary was at his feet. Hallelujah. Mary had chosen to, to lay aside the, the natural carnal things and to be with Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. And so he, and, and then he said, she's chosen the good thing and this shall not be taken from her. When you choose the Lord, when you choose to rest in him, then it will not be taken from you. You know, the enemy comes to what? Steal, kill, and to destroy. And that's what he wants you to do. He wants you to come over here and start trying to do it yourself and in and, and your own strength and your own might, even with your with your family and with your community and your uh, the, the church congregation that you're a part of. He wants you to toil. But, the, but Jesus said, Mary has chosen the good thing. And that is to rest in me. And it will not be taken from her. And then, of course, in Luke uh, chapter 5, verse, uh, verse 5. But Simon Peter answered and said, Master, this is when he was out fishing. And he said, Master, we have toiled all night and we have caught nothing. Now, that is the reward, or not the reward, but the result of toiling. You get nothing. And that's what Simon said. We've been out here, we've been fishing, and we caught nothing, Lord. And that's because he was toiling in himself. Okay. We have toiled all night and we have caught nothing. Nevertheless, now listen to this. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. At his word. That is the resting part. That is the spiritual part. When we're led by the spirit of God and the word of God, which sets us free. Woo, hallelujah. When we know the truth, then we can stop toiling in our with our own abilities and we can begin to rest in God's abilities. Hallelujah. You know, he is a great God and he is greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. So what is your job? It is to believe in the one that he sent. And that was Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's your job. Hallelujah. It's not to try to do it yourself. It's not to, to you know, so even in, in prayer, some people, they, they, they toil instead of praying. And so, hallelujah. No, they, they, they're not resting in, in God's word when they're praying, but they're, they're trying to make something happen. They're trying to conjure up something. Let me tell you something. We are not in witchcraft. Mm. We do not try to conjure something up by praying for 10 hours a day or, or reading a whole chapter of the Bible every day and we think that we're, we're doing something great. No. That's still toiling. I'm talking about no more toiling today. We want to enter into that rest. Okay. And then with Psalms 127 verse 2, it says, It is vain, now listen to this, for you to rise up early or to sit up late or to eat the bread of sorrows. That's, that's having a pity party. For he gives his beloved sleep. Like that. Hallelujah. I'm going to read that again. <laughs> Let's get this down into our spirit man. It is vain, which means it's worthless for you to rise up early or to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows. That's have a pity party for he gives his beloved sleep. Hallelujah. He will give you what you need. Remember, I started out with 
the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I shall not want for strength in my body. I shall not want for healing. I shall not want for finances. I shall not want for um, friendship. I shall not want for ministry doors to be opened up to me. I shall not want for any anything. Hallelujah. He belongs to us and we belong to him. And his banner over us is what? Love. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> this is a good group today. This is a good group of leaders today. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord is pleased with that. And in Proverbs 23, verses 4 and 5. Do not overwork. Listen to this. Do not overwork to be rich. You're already rich. You're already rich. Because everything you need, the Lord has already provided for you. Hallelujah. You have salvation. You have deliverance. Oh, hallelujah. You have prosperity. Uh, you have uh, a joy. You have peace. You have the love of God that's been sealed to your heart. Praise the name of Jesus. Because of your own understanding, stop or cease. We, we're not going to lean to our own understanding, are we? No. Because Sherry will lead me down the wrong road. If I depend on myself, that's going to lead me into a struggle. That gonna, that's going to lead me into the, the territory where I begin to toil. And see, if, if, you, if you keep on toiling, 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 then you're going to become weary, weary, weary. Be not weary, weary, weary. 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 <laughs> Be not weary, be not weary in, thank you, in the things of the Lord. Amen. For if you faint not, well, how do you keep from fainting? You stop trying to do it yourself and do it by what the Lord tells you to do. Ask him, what does he want you to do? Ask him. It says, so stop leaning to your own understanding will you set your eyes on that which is not for riches certainly make themselves wings and they will fly away like an eagle toward heaven and so we don't seek riches what do we seek somebody tell me what do we seek first the kingdom we seek the kingdom Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. Now, so we're not going to toil anymore. Jesus told Martha, 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 you are encumbered with many things. He had to call her name twice to get her attention. He had to call her name twice to get her attention. That was very good. <laughs> Amen. But we're going to enter into the rest. And so let's go to the second part of this this message this afternoon and that's really what i want to get to how do we rest in the lord number one we keep the word pure in our hearts we keep it pure uh, we non-contamination we there are people who need to be detoxed they need to go through detox just like a an addict who has to go through detox before they can begin their their therapy process many believers and i say believers because they do believe in jesus christ i say many christians they this this is where they are today this is where they are that they are going through a 
detox process. And so how do we enter into the rest of God? Well, Sherry, I, I can relate to that because uh, there was a, just in my upbringing, there were a lot of things that I didn't understand. And I had misunderstandings of a lot of the things of the, of the Lord and, and uh, the word of God. And so all of those had to be uh, removed from my life and, and little by little. And uh, I may not have arrived yet, but I'm moving towards that, uh, towards that uh, goal of uh, letting my thoughts be pure, letting, letting my understanding of God's word be true and Amen. be based on the truth and not what man has taught me. Amen. Amen. Well, we're going to enter into God's rest this afternoon. Hallelujah. We're not going to toil anymore. We're going to rest in the Lord. And the way we do that is by combining the word of God with faith. The word of God and faith. And that's in Hebrews uh, chapter 4 verse 2. That they... The word of God was was not effective in their life because they were not mixing it with faith. They were hearing the word. They were hearing the word. And the word was being preached, but they didn't mix faith with it. They, they did not they, mix the they faith. They were satisfied just to hear the word and thinking that uh, they had no responsibility. But in fact, we all have responsibility. Amen. We Amen. need to hear the word and believe. And put it into action in our life. And, the, and that's so true. That's so true. You know, and you think about why did the people of Israel, why did they not enter into the promised land? Why did they not enter into that, the promises of God? You know, healing is a promise. Prosperity is a promise. How many uh, promises? Over 7,000? Yeah, and uh, possibly 8,000 promises in God's word. And, and they're all available for us. They're all yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Well, yeah. why didn't they enter? Why were they continuing to toil and not entering into rest? It says in Hebrews 3.19 that they did not enter because of unbelief. They did not enter into his rest because they did not believe. You know, and that's the way it was. When, when those 12 spies went in, only two of them came out and said, God is well able, let's go on in and possess those promises, the new, the, the new thing, hallelujah. Let's go on in and, and possess it. But there were 10 of them that said, oh, no, we're like grasshoppers. And there's giants in the land. So and, they're, they're not looking at uh, the promises. They're, they're looking at the problems. And they're looking at their own natural abilities. In right. that case, those 10 spies who gave the bad report were. But Joshua and Caleb, Caleb. were not looking at how big the problems were. They were looking at how big their God was and what God had promised them. And he said, uh, their defenses have been removed. And Hallelujah. Hallelujah. defenses are already done. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, it says in Genesis 2-2 that on the seventh day, the day of completion, God ended his work, which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all of his work, which he had done. Now, people have interpreted this scripture incorrectly. They have said, oh, okay, well, that must be uh, Saturday, which we're going to, well, that, that's the when we go to church and we hear a sermon, or that Sunday, and we're going to go to church and hear a sermon. And that must be, you know, that's the day that we're going to rest. And we're not going to do any laundry. And we're not going to do this. And we're not going to uh, feed our cattle or whatever. And that's exactly not the interpretation of this scripture. God says it's complete. And when you see completion, oh, listen to what I'm fixing to say to you. 
when you see completion of your healing, you've entered into God's rest. When you see completion of your financial situation, oh, hallelujah, you see your income coming in. You see your bank statement going up. Hallelujah. Then you've entered into the presence of God and you've entered into his rest. Hallelujah. Completion. That's rest. That's good. Hallelujah. You know, God entered into rest and it never said he quit and came out of rest. He, 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 still, he, did, he, still, he still did rest. not come out. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. That's what we all need. At rest, I continue. Thank you, Jesus. At rest. At rest. At rest. At rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hebrews 4 3 says, I'd like for you just to, to read the whole book of Hebrews between now and next Saturday. I'd like for you just to read all of he, the, the book of Hebrews uh, because it's just filled with golden nuggets uh, for us, for our life today. Hallelujah. And, and then in Hebrews 4, 3, it says, For we who have believed do enter into his rest, as he has said. So I swore in my, in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest, although the works were finished. Listen to this. He finished everything from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. Praise God. <laughs> he has finished everything that you that you're in right now. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. He has finished it. And Jesus said on the cross, what did he say? He said, it is finished. Hallelujah. You can't do any more because it's already done. Praise God. Let's say you need more income coming in. It's already done. Well, how do we get there? We mix the word of God with faith. So find the scriptures. Find the word of God. That says you're prospering. Hallelujah. Find the scriptures that you're healed and believe. And speak it out of your mouth, but leave it in your heart and you shall have whatsoever you say. That's, that's Mark 11, 22 through 24. Hebrews 4, 5. And then he says, and, and because they are not believing, they shall not enter in. And it says in Hebrews 4, 9, there is a rest for the people of God. There's a rest for you today. Hallelujah. And those of you that have been having uh, nightmares and dreams that have not been encouraging, that have been uh, discouraging, that have been frustrating to you, uh, that have been um, that have put you in 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 dangerous territory. Right now, I rebuke those dreams in Jesus' name. I tell them they shall not prosper in Jesus' name, and that they have left your memory Hallelujah. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah! Thank, Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. And then in Hebrews. 10 and 11 for he who has entered into his rest has himself listen to this ceased from his own works as god did from his and the verse 11 let us therefore be diligent to enter into god's rest lest anyone fall according to the same example of disobedience the israel the people of Israel were disobedient. Even Moses, he got to look at the promised land, but he was he did not go in to the promised land. Why? I mean, this is Moses. This is the deliverer uh, of the Israelites out of Egypt. The, the one who did all the signs and the wonders and and um, made water come out of the rock and and uh, quail drop out of the sky. I mean, this is this is Moses, people. But he did not enter into the promises of God because he did not mix the word of God with faith. Oh, Lord, help us. 
Help us today, Lord, that we will believe your word, that we will act on your word, that we will put faith with your word. Whoa, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you are, this is breakthrough day for you. This is a breakthrough for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Romans 8, 14, this is the manifestation of the sons of God. For as many as are led by the spirit, they are the sons of God. And the sons of God, what do they do? They don't toil. They don't get tired and weary. They don't get frustrated. They don't get nervous and anxious. What do they do? They rest in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Matthew 6, 33. Matthew 6, 33. And we said this, what are we supposed to be seeking? What do we seek? Do we seek notability? Do we seek um, people to look up to us? Do we seek to make disciples? Uh, do we seek, um, what do we seek? We seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added unto us. Everything that you need. I go back to my first verse. Psalms 23, verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. You know, if you if you just get that one verse down deep in your in your spirit, man. And when situations come up, they're only temporary. Did you know that you're living in a temporary space? Woo, hallelujah. Don't get, don't get real comfortable in this space <laughs> because God's taken us to a new place. And it says it's a wealthy place. It's a place where you do not want for any good thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, I read a book and I need to, to probably go back and read this one again. It's by Rick Joyner, which is a prophet of God. And it's called the, I believe the torch in the, in the, what is it called, oh, Freddie? Sword uh, and the torch. Yeah, yeah, the sword and the torch. And there's a, a little girl in that book and it's, it's from a vision that he had. This is the book. Uh, and this little girl, uh, the the man in the in the in the book uh, gets very weary, very tired, and she takes him to the river. This little girl takes him to the river, and she says, "Drink as much as you want, and your strength will be restored." Now that river is the river of God that comes out of His throne. In his presence, you will be filled up again. Those of you that have been weary, those of you that have been um, frustrated, those of you that the worries have come uh, about different things in your life, you don't have to worry. Remember, Akuma Matata, no worries for the rest of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to worry. You don't have to doubt. All of a sudden you can just, one minute you could be in unbelief and the next minute you can be believing, speaking the word out of your mouth and believing in your heart in the name of Jesus. Isn't that right Can about the that? servant? Yes. Tell us about the servant, the centurion that had one, one verse he was, not believing in the in no, well, not, yeah. not, it's the nobleman in the nobleman John yes John four in verse forty eight uh, uh, Jesus said you will not uh, see miracles you will not believe or you will not believe miracles unless you see them and uh, then in verse fifty he said uh, in verse forty nine he asked the Lord to come and heal his son or we die and in verse fifty so this is just 
those three verses. Uh, and, and in verse 50 said, uh, Jesus said, go, go your way. Uh, he, he's healed and, and the, no one believed. So in verse 48, he did not believe. In verse 50, he believed. And so it's a matter of choice. Are we going to believe or not? And he could just do it in the change of a verse. Uh, the nobleman did. Uh, one verse, he did not believe. And uh, two verses later, he believed. And Amen. it's a choice for all of us. We can believe. It's just making a choice. And, and there's another thing I want to say about uh, about our bodies and uh, uh, we need our bodies at rest uh, and uh, I, I want my body to be at rest today I want it to be at rest the next day and the next day and if it if we get out of rest then our bodies remember that and if we've been in chaos our bodies remember it and, and it, it's not good for us mm -hmm. uh, they the scientists did a, a a research project and, and they spoke uh, encouraging words into a container of water and uh, they froze it and then they look at the ice under a microscope and it was beautiful crystals of ice mm -hmm. they looked they spoke to another uh container of water and they spoke a lot of nonsense and negative things and so uh, they just uh, said negative things to that water and they looked made ice out of it, looked at the crystals, and they were chaos. Uh, and mm -hmm. so the point is that water has memory. It remembers, and your, our bodies are made up of water. Yeah, 90%. Uh, it's almost all water. And so our bodies remember. What is it that we're feeding oh, into our body? Wow, wow. What kind of atmosphere do we have? Are we in a chaotic atmosphere? And then uh, maybe tomorrow we get in a place where it's uh, at rest. No, we've got we need to be on a consistent basis. And uh, if if we've got family members and friends that are in chaos and turmoil, then, then you've got to be in that place of rest, even if there's turmoil around you. And we have to stay at rest, and our bodies are going to remember what we have done. Have we mistreated mm, our body? Oh, wow. Let's wow. don't do that. Let's stay at rest. Let's enter rest. It's a choice. And let's stay at rest. And we're going to have to set our minds on uh, the Lord uh, because uh, Isaiah 53, mm -hmm. verse 6, I believe, says he will keep him in perfect peace That's Isaiah. whose mm -hmm. mind is stayed on the amen or, amen or that could have been 56 3 i'm sorry i might, might not have said the verse exactly right but that's the point uh, the way we're going to stay in peace is to keep our mind on the lord and we, we need to we need to do that well they will keep you will keep him in perfect and peace. it's isaiah 26 3 26 3 you will keep him in perfect, perfect peace, peace. Whose, whose mind, mind is stayed, stayed on, on you, thee. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what we need to do. And we need to have that consistency from day to day. It's not one day we're, it's chaotic and we're in all this turmoil. And that, see, we're in control of what goes on on the inside of us. We might not be on, in control of the things around us, but we are in control of what goes inside of us. Uh, and I saw this quote uh, yesterday about to uh, Happiness, it, it's easy for us to have happiness because it's based on what we're going on and what's going on inside of us, not the things around us. We have control over what goes on inside of us. And let's be consistent with that. Mm, keep yeah. our mind on the Lord and we'll keep our uh, bodies at rest. We'll keep our whole life at rest. And regardless of what uh, is going on around us, and, and our bodies remember. Yes. Have, uh, yeah. have we made an effort to keep our bodies at rest? We have to do it with our mind because it's it's the that's where the battleground is, is in the mind. And our body is going to remember whether or not we have mistreated it Amen. by Amen. being in turmoil. Mm, mm. So be at rest so, consistently. We do not want to toil anymore, but we want to enter into the rest of God. 
And we want to see those promises and we want to receive those promises, every single one of them. And so I pray over you this afternoon yes. Yes, Lord. in the name of yep. Jesus. Yep. All of us. Hallelujah. I want to, um, to see. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Father, I release your peace to enter into every person who is watching this video in Jesus name. I thank you, Lord, that that toiling is no more, that they will enter into your rest by believing your word and acting on your word and putting their faith with your word in the name of Jesus. I speak purity into their hearts in Jesus name, purity into their minds and purity into their bodies in Jesus name. Amen. Why don't we Hallelujah. Plead the blood of Jesus over all of yes. us, over our minds, yes. over our bodies. Plead I the blood. Plead, plead the blood Amen. over every part of us in the name of Jesus, over our spirit, over our soul, over our bodies, over our finances, over our relationships, over every part of us, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus, and we thank you for that. Thank you that we've entered into your rest today. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. we cast every care oh, over on good. you. Oh, hallelujah, because you are the one that takes care of us. 